Nardo here covering a big vertical A execute. First big focus is on showing mid presence and getting B stairs control before executing A. They have Tizian throwing the nades however he misses. Then big get B stairs control by having taps and run boosting Tizian and having Keto peek from stairs. Tizian peeks off Yakinder who was boosting James to peek over into mid. While this is happening Zentaurus and Searson are towards A ramp holding. Big players regroup ramp and get ramp control and scaffold control. As they do this, VP decide to gamble stack their whole team A and leave 3 players short. Big throw utility to clear out sandbags and ivy. Two smokes are thrown which land left and right bomb and create a wall of smoke. Big collapses on the site from ivy and ramp. Searson wall bangs Kurt, while the other two VP players are focused on ramp and Keto backstabs from ivy and kills them. Tizian plants default and James is left in the 1v4 and is able to find Searson however Tizian trades out. Let's look at the players POVs. Tizian smokes top scaffold. To do so he will stand in this corner here and then he aims here and then jump throws. This smoke denies Ivy players vision and can prevent them from pushing. However sometimes you'll see CTs push it to get control with a flash. Afterwards Tizian heads towards T side mid and throws mid control nades. However they fail. Afterwards Tizian gets run boosted by taps into the opposite side of stairs and then he kills the Kinder boosting James. The kill causes a rotation over from Quicker and Sanji. Tizian rotates back to ramp and his teammates throw the execute and Tizian will go up ramp with taps to clear sight. Tapson had bomb and dies. Tizian picks it up and plants default then kills James. Tapson is going to have the bomb. He is holding mid for a CT push while Tizian throws mid control nades. Then he run boosts Tizian and groups up ramp. When Tapson is on ramp he tries to flash ivy however the flash goes too far. Tapson's flash is to blind any CTs holding inside Ivy to allow his Zentaurus to get a clean peek. As for the A execute, Tapson will throw right side smoke and a molly for a double. For the smoke and molly lineup, you want to stand at the wall before the little knob here and then to throw the smoke he aims here and left click. In the same position on the wall to throw the molly, you're going to aim here and left click. As Tapson is entering, he gets too caught up looking behind default and dies to an off angle adren. Keto holds a B push and then flashes twice as Tizian gets run boosted. He's going to come through stairs as Tizian comes from the other side. However, Keto gets mollied off and Tizian gets the entry and gets stairs control for big. He then regroups ramp. For the execute, Keto will molly the box on short. It's a good molly because Antares mollies Ivy first, hopefully pushing back any CTs there into the box and Keto's molly will force any CTs playing the box to be pushed back or to peek. Keto will be entering through IV however VP smoke it off when Big's execute comes in. This smoke isn't going to stop Keto as Searson is going to flash short to allow Keto to come through and backstep Adren and Sanji who are in short and focus on the ramp players. As you can see the molly's thrown from Big forces these two players in an open area. Keto watches the smoke push as Tizian plants and then tries to resmoke left side bomb, however is a little short then falls back. Searson is Big's opper. He will start off ramp and hold for an initial IV peak and push. VP's deep ramp smoke comes in and blocks off his vision so he jumps up on the blocks behind him to try to see above the smoke. VP resmoke ramp and as that smoke fades, Searson is holding the top scaffold. This is a very common angle for a CT opper to hold. His teammates from B regroup and Big retake ramp. Once ramp and scaffold are cleared, Searson molly sandbags and then for the A execute he will throw left bomb smoke by pressing up in the corner of the sandbags and aims here at the bar intersection and jump throw. He flashes for Keto to peek from Ivy and then wall bangs quicker. Afterwards Searson holds heaven however James jumps up from double and kills him. Zentara starts off A ramp and throws a forward smoke that denies vision from the CTs. This smoke is also good to extinguish any mollies thrown from the CTs. The smoke also allows Zentaris to push up behind it. He holds a scaffold push. VP resmoke ramp and flashes Zentaris off the angle so he retreats. When his teammates from B start coming back to ramp, Zentaris will throw a flash off the left ramp wall and this flash will blind the angle where CT offers go in the beginning of the round to peak scaffold. Afterwards he clears close right and takes caution if any CTs are still on the ramp. Then he clears scaffold and mollies close ivy in case any opper is posted. After the molly he will peek ivy with Tapson's flash however Tapson's flash failed. 
So Tyrus was supposed to go Ivy with Keto, but it gets smoked off and he reroutes and goes up ramp and covers the bomb planter. Here is first pro James POV. I just wanted to show you what the boost on B looks like to peek over towards mid. And then here's your Kinder's POV. The only problem with this boost here is you're out in the open and if they run boost like that, they'll catch you easily. To wrap up, Big does a really good job showing presence throughout the map and getting an early entry onto a B player forcing rotations. I'm lucky that VP chose to gamble stack for a mid round. Regardless, Big used their utility effectively to clear out sandbags and ivy. The sight smokes block off vision behind default and allow Big's ramp players to advance. Keto is ivy ready to backstep the short players. This is your textbook Vertigo A execute. If you liked the video, please upload and subscribe. Check out my video on Astralis Vertigo Ramp CT setup. Till next time, Night Out here. Peace.